Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman, and every year we do our open house. But this year, due to COVID, things have kind of changed for us here. We want to go ahead and give you a virtual tour of our open house. I'm going to welcome you all in, and hopefully next year we can get back to normal where we're actually giving in-person tours. Come on into our house and take a look. Hello, my name is Corporal Burns with the Sheriff's Office. And if we ever have somebody in custody and we need to have them here for a, a period of time, we would use one of our holding cells. Over here we have our fingerprint machine. And if you're not aware, we do civilian fingerprints for jobs. Um, if you're applying to be a teacher, a healthcare worker, um, childcare. Uh, also, I think a lot of positions for like volunteer coaches, they also have to get fingerprinted. So we offer that here at the Sheriff's Office. And if you happen to call in 410-758-0770 uh, to report a crime um, or you want to talk to a police officer or you have a tip, um, that number would go here to our duty officer and they would answer the phone and speak to you. Ready? Uh, ready? Hi, I'm First Sergeant Myers, Queen Anne's County Officer of the Sheriff. This is the Officer of the Sheriff's SWAT team. Uh, this is our armored vehicle that's behind the team here. We handle high-risk situations in the county. Um, if, if anybody needs emergency response, uh, we will come out and handle that situation. Get down! Get down! Do it now! Get down! All the way down! All the way down! Hands on top of your head! Do it now! Hello, I'm Francis Rudier. I'm Human Resources and the uh, CALEA, which is the uh, professional standards portion of the office. For human resources, you go to the county website, apply for a job, and then all of a sudden, I'm your best friend. Hello, I'm Major Dwayne Boardman. I'm the chief deputy here. Uh, I serve underneath the sheriff as the number two man in the department. And when he's gone, I have to take over and manage and make sure everything runs smoothly, just like it does when he is here. I also oversee a lot of the budget aspects of the office and fleet and uh, handle or oversee internals, uh, internal investigations. So when citizens or, uh, or groups or whatever uh, have a complaint on a deputy, uh, I handle that and um, make sure that a fair uh, investigation is complete. And then I always make sure that the complainant is notified when we're done. Hi, my name is Laurie Kimballs. I am the executive assistant to Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I haven't been here that long, but I love my job. Um, what I do for the sheriff is I try to keep his schedule straight for him. I answer his phone calls and um, I do whatever he needs doing. Hi, I'm Stephanie and I'm the office coordinator here at the sheriff's office and I oversee the daily job functions within the office. Hi, my name's Elizabeth and I handle the criminal summonses and the warrants here at the office. Hi, I'm Kristen and I process all the civil papers here at the sheriff's office. I get them out to the deputies to serve to the community. Hi, my name is Amanda Darling, and this is the records room. This is where I handle all the validations for the whole county, and I do all the peace order, protective order, and extremist protective orders for the entire county. Hi, I'm Sue. I'm the quartermaster for the sheriff's office. We're currently in my storage room. We order everything for the building, office supplies, um, computers, all the way up to anything that the deputies would need, um, including uniforms, gear, SWAT equipment, uh, ballistic vests, everything that they would inquire, you know, acquire on their job. I'm the one that makes everybody happy. <laughs> Basically, that's why I love my job. So they come to me, you know, with concerns and issues about their gear, and hopefully I can resolve it for them in a pretty quick manner, get them back on the road. I really like to thank the citizens of our county um, during the beginning part, especially of COVID. We had a really hard time getting any type of PPE and supplies in. Um, supplies were extremely limited and um, any government supplement was given out to, you know, higher importance um, of EMS and um, any medical fields. So uh, we got a lot of donations from our public and um, it was extremely helpful. Things were difficult to acquire. And we, I want to thank you guys for donating to us. It, mean, it means a lot. It made my job so much easier. At the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff, most people don't know that we're very rich in history. The first sheriff, Mr. Tillman, served in 1708. 
And on this wall here in our office, we have all of the sheriffs that have served in the past. A great piece of history done by Lieutenant Dale Patrick in our office. What we're looking for is information about all of these sheriffs who have served and are related to our community members here in the county. If you have any information on any of these sheriffs, please let us know. We'd love to update their profile picture and get some personal information about them. Everybody loves history. A lot of people don't know all the things that we do. We're a 24-hour operation, seven days a week, even on the holidays. And our men and women are out there serving every day. But inside this building, there's a lot that goes on that the public doesn't know about. So in the office of the sheriff, believing in restoring and maintaining the history of Queen Anne's County, we felt it was important that we actually documented some of the really cool things that have evolved with policing. All of these cool artifacts that are in this case are things such as warrants, old forms of technology, old cameras, old blood test kits, old PVTs, memory. We actually have the actual ticket book from Jason Schwentz, who was killed in the line of duty here in our office. This was the last ticket that Jason wrote that evening um, when his life was taken by Frank Zito. We have pictures here of the old jail as it used to stand in Centerville, which is now where the Liberty Building is. Pictures of prior sheriffs, some memorabilia from them, some of the old original sheriff groups that were out there, the deputies that served uh, before us. One of them is still with us and that's Dennis Walls, so he has stood the test of time. Hi, I'm Sergeant Jeremy Davidson with the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff, and I have the privilege of supervising two different units at the Sheriff's Office. The first is the SRU, uh, called the Sheriff's Resource Unit. We're responsible for uh, special events um, that communities have throughout the county. Um, also in that unit are the school resource officers, those deputies that are responsible for the security for our county public and private schools. The second unit that I supervise is called the SCOPE unit. SCOPE stands for Sheriff's Community Oriented Policing Enforcement. It's kind of a mouthful. Basically they are the deputies that go into the communities and neighborhoods and deal with incidents that are long-standing, chronic situations. So anything from speeding and traffic uh, complaints all the way through illegal drug sales and everything in between. If you'd like to contact us for any of these, either one of these two units, um, you can do so by contacting me at the Sheriff's Office. The phone number is 410-758-0770. My extension is 1273. Okay, welcome to the Criminal Investigations Unit. I'm Detective Rickard. Um, this is our division here. Uh, so these four desks now are unoccupied, uh, but we actually have some federal partners that work with us that are detached to our agency. We have two agents from the Homeland Security Investigative Unit, uh, HSI. Um, we also have an FBI agent that's assigned to us out of the Annapolis office. And some other federal partners that come in and out as we need them, um, or if they're working something in our jurisdiction, they'll come and use our office as a point of uh, just a place that they can set up and work. So that way they're not traveling from the Western Shore all the way up to an Eastern Shore Criminal Investigation location. Um, here is our temporary storage unit, our area that we, we can either store evidence temporarily um, or we can process evidence within here. It's also our, our supply closets where we keep all of our toys and neat little gadgets that we utilize to help us uh, process crime scenes and do surveillance and things like that. Um, this is just a a conference room that we use. It's also uh, to review and observe uh, investigations and interrogations, interviews that are being done on the other side of this wall. And after we leave here, we'll actually walk out and I can show you that room. Um, but that's our iRecord machine. This machine here actually is the, the, uh, the device that we use to preserve and, and record all of the interviews being conducted um, in the other room. Uh, we have, uh, instead of a two-way window or a mirror, we have an actual TV feeds off the video cameras that are installed in that room. And it's wired for sound as well, so we can hear and see everything being done. Um, this is our, if we're called out in the middle of the night, um, coffee, which is very important. Um, this office here, this is the CIU supervisor, also the assistant commander to, uh, to the unit. First Sergeant Amelia Van Zandt. 
Hello. One of my partners here hiding here. Uh, it's uh, Detective Lewis. How you doing? I won't take you all the way down because there's actually there's a couple of investigations we're currently working now. We have some evidence out and some sensitive things that are out here that we can't film. But th basically, this area here is where the detectives are. My cubicle is there. Our supervisor, uh, D Corporal Chris Schwink. <laughs> Wave, Chris. He's there at the end. He keeps us all in line. Um, so let me take you over to the interview room. Um, so this area here is, uh, we've sort of designed the building to where this area here is detached and away from the general uh, area of the sheriff's office. That way if we have a suspect that we have to talk with, we don't have to bring them in through the general, we can bring them off to the side and secure entrance. Our weapons are secured there prior to entry into the room before entering and uh, interviewing anyone. And this is the interview room. Um, we have two cameras, one there, one here, microphone there, um, standard. And everything that's being conducted in here, like I said, feeds over to that system that you saw in the other room. Okay, so, and, and that's pretty much it as far as uh, the where we work and, and, and the location here within the building. Um, my glasses are fogging up. Um, but we, we primarily work uh, felony cases, high profile cases, um, special cases, uh, victims, uh, sex offenses, um, homicides, murders, the big cases come back to us. Um, if anyone has any information um, to any of the cases that have actually been posted or, or uh, displayed on Facebook, social media, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to any one of us back here. You can reach out to us directly. Um, the, the main number, 410-758-0770. Um, you can ask for anyone in the criminal investigations unit. We'd be more than happy to talk with you if you have any information on anything active that we're investigating now. Hi, I'm Jessica Milligan, public information officer here at the office of the sheriff. I'm the one that you'll see getting the tweets out on Twitter. I could be private messaging you on Facebook. I could be sending out public alerts. And late at night, if you ever do private message us, sometimes you might not know if it's me or the sheriff responding. So, now that you've attended our open house, You've seen a lot of the great things that the men and women of the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff do. But we're also comprised of volunteers who do bike patrol, and we have a staff of auxiliary deputies that perform various functions out in our community. But some of the things that we couldn't showcase today were our courthouse. The Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff has a constitutional responsibility and obligation to provide security for the courthouse, its patrons, and its staff as well as warrant service and prisoner transports. We also have a Marine unit, a drug task force. We also manage a very large property room at the office. We have a great staff of patrol deputies that are out there every single day. These men and women are the backbone responding to calls for service. Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff is your office. It's a pleasure working for you and we appreciate you attending our Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff open house. We're sorry we had to do virtual this year, but next year we'll be back in full swing. We hope to see you in October of 2021.